Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Reihert. Well, our quiet weather continues out there today. Decor showing us a beautiful blue sky, a lot of sunshine out there, and a few clouds in the sky, but more of those later on. For the next couple of hours, uh, we should see plenty of sunshine still coming through the picture, though, and that's uh, really how we're going to keep things fairly quiet for the next uh, several days. Next 24 hours, though, nothing to be concerned about on your first alert with high pressure in control for us right now. We're uh, that right now that's off to our west, so winds turning more out of that north and northwesterly direction for us today, helping continue to reinforce that cooler air. As this high pressure slides further to the east, we'll be on the back side of that, where winds start to turn more out of the south. That means warmer air starting to filter in already by tomorrow. Today, though, again, cooler. Looking for temperatures topping out near normal for this time of year, just cool compared to where we've been and where we're headed. Look around 31 in Monona this afternoon, 32 in Dubuque and in Manchester with increasing clouds late afternoon into the evening. A similar picture in our northwestern zone, 33 in Shell Rock, 31 in the Fayette area, Independence up to around 32. Central zone, very seasonal for this time of year, 34 in Cedar Rapids and Mount Vernon today, 35 in Dysert and Tama up to around 37. In our southern zone, Wachir up to around 38, 36 for Washington, Kelowna and Iowa City as well. Pinpoint futurecast through the course of the afternoon showing those increasing clouds again. A lot of that not going to be notable until the late afternoon as we're starting to see the sun setting it should at least help maybe with the uh, sun glare here later on that uh, maybe the the one little uh, good bit that we can say with those clouds moving in. Mostly cloudy skies then overnight tonight, but as you're getting up and getting going tomorrow morning already starting to see those pushing off to the east through the morning hours. Clouds continue to decrease and mostly sunny skies are back in the forecast for us tomorrow as well. Overnight tonight, we'll see temperatures dipping down to the upper teens in the north, low to middle 20s in our southern zones and central zone as well. Mostly cloudy skies overhead. Later on this week, we're continuing to track an area of rain, but overall pretty quiet weather for us. This is that one small chance we have kind of late Friday into Saturday. A little weak wave could move through the area. Some light rain showers possible early Saturday morning. Pretty short lived though, and that's really about it. Even that said, really not looking like we're going to get much in terms of measurable precipitation with that event. If you want to stay up to date with all of the latest on that, remember uh, to download that first alert weather app. Be sure to have that updated as well. There's uh, continued updates on that app, and uh, you can make sure to have all of the latest by going to your app store and making sure that uh, you have the latest version as well. Temperatures for us here through the next couple of days, warming a little bit each and every afternoon. We're back into the middle to upper 40s Thursday, Friday into Saturday and Sunday too. There's that small precipitation chance again. That's mainly overnight Friday, but a little bit lingering into early Saturday. And even with that said, we just talked about those precipitation totals. Not looking like much, only a 20% chance there on Saturday as well. So really just very limited, very quiet weather. Uh, not a lot of moisture for these systems to work with, even though we do have different fronts and stuff moving through the area. Yeah, it's kind of a copy paste kind of night day there. It really <laughs> is. It's keep it, keeping things pretty easy. We're getting a lot of projects done in the right. lab right now. <laughs> yeah, you've been busy anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Jan.